Mike Boynton, who is the Oklahoma State basketball coach, did you see his remarks on the NCAA on Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it was? Yeah, I, I retweeted it out this morning. All right, so let me let me read it out for the audience here. Mike Boynton said, I am disappointed, disgusted, appalled, frustrated, but somewhere in Indianapolis there's a group of people celebrating. They won. Our players don't deserve and shouldn't have to deal with this. He said it was a single NCAA violation. One player received $300. One player, not a recruit, not a future recruit, not a family member, One current player received $300, and in and of itself, because it was self-reported by us, it is a secondary violation. So the punishment is you pay the money back, serve your suspension, which the kid did, and you move on. It is no wonder that nobody trusts the NCAA. They don't have to come and do this and answer questions and talk to kids and talk to parents. They hit Oklahoma State with a postseason ban. It was before the 2020-2021 season. And it was, uh, they gave the school a level one violation after former assistant coach Lamont Evans accepted bribes to push players to agents and advisors. Now, here's the issue uh, Evans was also an assistant coach at South Carolina. He, along with, I mean, there were several other coaches uh, at Arizona, USC, Auburn, et cetera. The, like, they didn't give South Carolina a postseason ban, they gave Oklahoma State a postseason ban, and they said that it was because of the amount of money that Evans took from Christian Dawkins. But when it comes down to it, Oklahoma State as a school, as a program, et cetera, didn't do anything wrong. And yet, Oklahoma State cooperated 100% with the NCAA. And Boynton discussed like all the different things that they had to go through for the appeal. The day before they played against Kansas, he had to fly to Atlanta for a hearing, and then he flew back to coach the team the next day. On on the same day that they were playing against uh, Oklahoma, they had a hearing in Indianapolis, and he had to be there for it. So he flew to Indianapolis because it was important to be there for the appeal hearing and then flew back to coach the team. Like, all this stuff that they, they jumped through all these different hoops, and the NCAA just said, eh, nope, appeal denied. You, you still got a postseason ban. Like, they will not be in the NCAA tournament this year because of that. Like, I, why anybody? And he did say, if you're a school that's dealing with this stuff right now, don't cooperate. Like, don't, and, and honestly, I think Oklahoma State should have known that. But at the end of the day, like, there's no reason to cooperate with these fools anymore. Like, it's just a, it's a train wreck. What, a, I mean, give me, give me your, I know you hate the NCAA. But my gracious, yeah. like this, this was absurd. Yeah. No, listen, I'm, I'm, I am now past, I am now past hatred and, and, and I would actively be against them. I would not talk to them. I would not communicate with them. If they ask for information, they're not getting anything. I don't care how little or small it is. I don't care if it's to hurt another program. I, I would not cooperate with them if they were, we're going to give you immunity and we want you know this you know just to go after Alabama. I do not care. Nope. I am not. I am not helping you. I am not doing anything for you. If your people, if your investigators set foot on my campus, I'm going to have my campus police escort them off. I will have you detained. I'll have you arrested, or I'll have you removed. I would not send them any money at all. As if I was a chancellor, if I was a president, I, I would I would go through our books. What money is going to Indianapolis? And I'd cut them off and make them come get me. What are they going to do? What are they going to do to stop you? How are they going to get it? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I'd make them fight me in, in court all day long. Because if enough schools say, screw this, I'm not doing this shit. These people are terrible people. They're a terrible organization. We're, I'm done. I'm done. They don't bring any benefit whatsoever to the school. They don't bring any benefit whatsoever to the university. They don't bring any benefit or whatsoever to their original purpose was for players' safety, health and safety of student athletes. And they're so bad at that that there's another organization that had to pop up that fights the NCAA on trying to help better the safety and well-being of players because the NCAA doesn't do it anymore. They actively fight against players. Yes. Yes. So I wouldn't, 
couldn't do anything. Not only would I not do anything for them, I would go out of my way to make their life miserable. I would fight against every little thing they tried to throw at me. They have no authority. Don't give them the authority. They have no respect for you. Don't give them any respect. Don't treat them with any dignity. Nothing at all. None of them. Yes. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. I mean, it, the... the, the I, and hang on. I've been saying this shit for a long, long time, but now you got a coach for another uh, university who's a respected person. I am not. That's fine. I don't deserve the respect. But that that guy's finally saying it, and people starting to listen. Listen, these guys didn't just become a useless piece of shit overnight. They've been this for a long time. They, they're a made-up organization. They're not the police. They're not the FBI. They can't do anything to you. That they're gonna say, well, that game don't count. Well, okay, all right, we're still gonna play it, and everybody's gonna come out and watch. Yeah, and, and it's we're still gonna, gonna be know on. who won. And who <laughs> it's still gonna be on TV. People will still remember this yeah. game. That's uh, right. Oh, you don't want to get the season. What if ESPN just put them in, or what if Turner just put them in? What if what if what if the what if other people? You know, hey, we no, no, we think they're twelve. And we're going to put them in a 12 seed, and we're going to put them over here and and show up this day, and you can see the seed. Well, the NCAA, oh, we run that. You can't do that. Fuck you. Get in the corner. <laughs> Shut up. I love it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.